Chapter 9. Guy Makes a Decision The next day at work, Guy had a call from Douglas Freer of the Shaw Company. He had sent the company some drawings for a building, and he wanted them to give him a job. Uh, Mr. Haynes, Mr. Freer said, I've had a letter. There's no name on it, and it says that you knew about your wife's murder and that the police want to speak to you. He waited for Guy to speak. Mr. Haynes, I wanted to tell you about the letter. Are the police still asking questions? No, Mr. Freer, and I don't know who sent the letter, Guy said. I don't know what it means. Then he asked, Mr. Freer, about the job. I'm sorry, Mr. Haynes, we gave that to another architect, Mr. Freer said quickly. Guy went out for a drink. He was very worried. If I murder Bruno's father, he thought, all of this will stop. No, I mustn't think that. But what can I do? What's the way out of this? Guy drank some more and then went home. He slept heavily. Early in the morning, Guy woke up and felt someone in the room. He saw the orange end of a cigarette burning in the dark. He knew who it was and what he wanted. Bruno, Guy said. You're ready now, aren't you, Guy? Bruno said softly. Yes, Guy said and immediately felt better. Mother and I are going away tomorrow, Bruno said. Do it tomorrow night. I broke the back door so you can get in easily. Here's a key, too. Bruno gave Guy some gloves. You'll need these. His voice shook. Oh, Guy, I'll never see you again.